manager or town administrator in Youngsville, and uh, just uh, here tonight to share a few words with you. I'll try and be brief as I know that we only have five minutes on the schedule, but hopefully if I don't get all the way through, you'll give me a reprieve and let me finish. But um, either way, um, what's being passed out here is just uh, some information that the town uh, wants to ensure that the county commissioners um, here this evening are aware of. Uh, the first item is a news release relating to the town's uh, new development ordinance. This was published on February 27th, and the town would simply like to provide a paper copy for your records. So that's Exhibit A in the packet that you're receiving at present. Exhibit B has three components. Uh, the first component is an email request from me to the uh, County Utilities Director, Chris Doherty, for notice to all future utility advisory committee meetings. That was sent on August 13th, 2019. Um, the next uh, part of that exhibit is an email from Mr. Doherty to me and Franklinton Town Manager Greg Bethea on March 3rd of this year, notifying us of a special called UAC meeting for March 4th, the following day. Um, I'd like to note that over 10 water allocation recommendations were deliberated over and voted on during this meeting. And then the last item is the actual agenda where you can see the uh, variety of different uh, matters that were addressed before the Utility Advisory Committee on that day. Uh, information is provided with renewal of the town's request to be notified with as much advance notice as possible of UAC meetings and our request that the UAC set a regular meeting schedule at least <coughs> same annually. All right, moving on to the uh, third exhibit, which is exhibit C in your packet. <clears throat> this is a letter from uh, Mayor Fonzie Flowers of the Town of Youngsville to this Board of Commissioners. It reads as follows, Dear Honorable Commissioners, As the Town of Youngsville and Franklin County prepare for the inevitable wave of growth that will envelop our community over the coming years, I write to address a matter of strategic importance, local water supply. First, I would like to renew the following background information as it pertains to the Franklin County Public Utility Enterprise. In 2013, Franklin County entered into an agreement to purchase all water and sewer utility assets owned by the Town of Youngsville. In 2015, Franklin County entered into a similar agreement with the Town of Franklinton. As a result, in 2015, Franklin County Public Utilities became the sole provider of water and sewer service in the towns of Youngsville, Franklinton, and Bunn. Pursuant to North Carolina General Statute Section 143-355, subparagraph L, Franklin County Public Utilities must annually prepare a local water supply plan and submit it to the Department of Environmental Quality for approval. Further, this statute requires the plan to include present and projected population, industrial development, and water use within the service area, present future water supplies, an estimate of technical, assist of technical assistance that may be needed at the local level to address projected water needs, current and future water conservation and water reuse programs, including a plan for the reduction of long-term per capita demand of potable water, a description of how the local government or large community water system will respond to drought or other water shortage emergencies and continue to meet essential public water needs during the emergency, and any other related information as the department may require. Further, the statute requires Franklin County Public Utilities to, quote, submit a revised plan that specifies how the water system intends to address foreseeable future water needs when 80% of the water system's available water supply, based upon a calendar year average daily demand, has been allocated to current or prospective water users. In reaction to the concerns over the county's available water supply, the Town of Youngsville staff inspected a wide range of publicly available documents, examples being water treatment plan permits, and local agreements for the purchase of drinking water, etc., to calculate the data in figures A and B below. You'll note that at the bottom of figure A, the percent allocated is 82.37%. This uh, uh, figure is equivalent to the percent of water that's allocated in an ideal water supply scenario where each plant and each source is being used at 100% capacity. Figure B below is a more realistic scenario where the Franklinton water treatment plant, for example, is not using 100% of its capacity that's permitted by the Department of Environmental Quality. As you can see there under that scenario, 97.32% of the county's water supply is allocated to current and prospective users. Based upon these data, and then uh, there's a couple paragraphs below that kind of summarize what I just stated. On the topic of interlocal agreements to purchase water, the maximum term of any agreement by statute is 40 years. Franklin County Public Utilities' current arrangement with the City of Henderson is set to expire in approximately 10 years. At this time, the City of Henderson could charge Franklin County Public Utility customers any price it desires for water. It could, at its sole discretion, realistically double, triple, or even charge FCPU customers 10 times current rates 
for future and FCPU uh, for water and FCPU customers would have to pay, for, uh, sorry, would have no option but to pay that price. On the current system capacity, I'm alarmed at the current state of the utility, 97.32% allocated in a real world scenario, and fear a complete moratorium on development is imminent if something is not done immediately within the next 12 to 24 months. Obviously, Youngsville, along with residents of Franklin County, will suffer from a moratorium due to lack of local water supply. Such a reality would likely compound already insufficient housing supply, drive up housing prices, drive away economic development, and lead to labor shortages. Currently, Franklin County Public Utilities local water supply plan does not adequately address the future needs of the system. Specifically, it does not identify sources of water that will be sufficient to meet the needs of the future customer base. It does not identify the steps necessary to exploit those sources, and it does not identify the costs associated with such an exploitation plan. Based upon additional data and analysis not presented here, the town makes the following recommendations to the to your utility. Immediately begin the permit application process to draw water from the John H. Carr Reservoir, approximately 10 miles northwest of Franklin County. It is worth noting this process will require intricate collaboration with the Department of Environmental Quality and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and the environmental and permitting process is likely to take a minimum of 7 to 10 years to complete. Immediately begin planning to upgrade the Franklinson Water Treatment Plant's capacity and work with the Department of Environmental Quality to obtain a permit with significantly increased production capacity. It is worth noting this process will require collaboration with the EQ and is likely to take a minimum of 12 to 24 months to complete. Immediately begin planning and build an additional elevated water tank to maintain pressure in its system <coughs> as additional connections are made over the coming years. It's worth noting that this process will require intricate collaboration with DEQ and is likely to take a minimum of 12 to 24 months to complete. Immediately engage DEQ staff and request any and all resources available to create a more robust local water supply plan that one, identifies the sources of water that will be sufficient to meet the system's future needs, two, identifies the steps necessary to exploit those sources, and three, identifies the costs associated with such an exploitation plan. As Youngsville's mayor, I very respectfully request the Board of County Commissioners to resolve to and so direct the county staff to immediately act on the recommendations above for the betterment of the entire county. Sincerely yours in public service, Mayor Flowers. Time, that's seven minutes. I make a motion to extend this time. Second. We'll move the proper second. Pleasure of the board. Allow to continue. Let me know if I said aye. Aye. All opposed, nay. I just have this order. Well, let, let, I'll let you uh, continue, of course, with the mission of the board. Um, obviously, um, you're a good reader. <laughs> I'm trying to respect your time. And we know how to read as well. Yes, sir. All right. So uh, I, 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 I challenge you that you have uh, indeed stepped, I believe, over bounds, okay, in coming here to read this to us, knowing that we can read. Okay. Yes, sir. So, we'll put that on the record. With respect yeah. for your admonition, I would like to say that yeah. I'm reading as much for you all as I'm reading for everybody else in the room so they can understand the significance of these events in real time. We understand the significance yes, sir. of water for Franklin County. Mm -hmm. uh, fortunately, I don't have much farther. Um, Exhibit D is a resolution by the Youngsville Board of Commissioners adopted this past Thursday, formally requesting the county take immediate action on the topics Mayor Flowers is, in Mayor Flowers' letter. It's worth noting that Franklinton Town Manager Greg Bethea has indicated the Town of Franklinton intends to approve a similar resolution, and the Town also has support from the Town of Bunn in this regard as well. Lastly, I'd like to reiterate a very astute question Commissioner Foy actually asked during the work session this past Thursday that relates to a new development, new development in Franklin County. The question he asked is, how do we decide who gets told no and who gets told yes? This is a very important question, a question that will be answered in the future almost exclusively by who gets allocated water and who does not. Based upon the data examined to draw the conclusions I've presented to you today, there's going to be a great number of no's in our future if this body does not direct county staff to act without delay. I'd like to briefly note I understand the county has finally begun the process of studying potential options and future water resources. This effort is much <coughs> appreciated. However, there are additional actions like upgrading the Franklinton water plant and building an elevator wa elevated water tank that should be completed immediately. Lastly, with regard to yes and no decisions to allocate water, I will look forward to the county managing a more transparent process. This includes setting a regular meeting schedule for the utility advisory committee, at least semi-annually, and notifying all interested parties well in advance of all meetings. The town believes these are reasonable requests given the lasting impact the decisions to allocate our community's already scarce water resources will have. Thank you for your time and I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you. Thank you, sir.
Item three on the